Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So finally we had this $10,000 test that we were waiting for so long. We hit here exactly $10,030. We came up here to the 0.618 Fib line based on the 14,000 top that we had and the bottom of 3,800. And it was clear that at this price level we're gonna see some uh, take profits here. So we're having now a little rejection here from this potential resistance line up here. But as you can see we are still keeping up here with the 20 moving average in the one hour. Same like we did here on the run up. And also here in the one hour we are cooling off now. We have the stochastic oversold. RSI bouncing from the 50 and even here if you look at the Bollinger Band we retraced back down to the middle area and now in theory we should have another attempt to break this $10,000 so I'm expecting here another leg up unless of course we're gonna lose here this 20 moving average at $9,800 then maybe things starts to look a bit more bearish because then we could be in here for a retest of a potential support uh, level like here this 9400 to 9500 dollar but currently everything looks like that bitcoin still want to continue to pump and we didn't come up here to test the main resistance of 10500 dollar so only once we're hitting and breaking this line here then we're gonna see what will happen for the long term at least for the next couple of days and weeks but so far everything looks still very bullish and i'm pretty confident that we could break it now with the first attempt already or at least uh, after the next uh, bigger dump we also don't have any cme future gap below of us so far at least no big ones but we have one big up to eleven thousand eight hundred dollar and since this is out of our potential uh, rejection range here i think if we're going that high to eleven thousand eight hundred it is also possible that we're going to test again fourteen thousand and maybe even twenty thousand so this is now here the one hour time frame which is still looking very bullish even though we got rejected at the moment from this 10,000 but it looks like that we are gearing up again to push higher and if we go over to the four hour time frame you can see that we didn't even test yet the 20 moving average in the four hour here down at 9430 so this is my target in case that this uh, rejection here is a bit uh, stronger than we thought and we're not going up from here then i think watch out to a test of this moving average here at 9440 because i think it is very likely that sooner or later we go down again to test it so in case that you open up over leverage trades maybe wait for the perfect conditions like the test of the 20 moving average in the four hour and not on the one hour time frame maybe now you can start to scale in your longs if you're opening up new longs over on bybit or famix but in case that you already have a position, maybe just wait till we're going to test again the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame or just let it go to the upside. Here you can also see that the stochastic and RSI are still a bit overbought. So also here it looks like that we could retrace even down here to 9440. It is very possible. But as I told you, Bitcoin can do whatever it wants. When it starts to pump, it's like a train that you cannot stop. And in the Bollinger Band, although you see that we're still trading in that top area, we didn't retrace back down here between 9,670 down to 9,340. So it is still possible here in the four hour that we could retrace back down to one of these levels before we see another big leg up, even though the MACD still shifted to the upside. So even if we see here a pullback, we should be still be on the trend to the upside so nothing has changed here also in the four hour time frame and in the daily of course after we topped out yesterday here 10,000 now we're seeing a little pullback so a little correction is very healthy but here in the daily as I told you even though everything looks bullish we could go any time back down to the 20 daily moving average at $8,500 and bounce from here so in case that you see the price going again below 9,000 this doesn't mean that you have to panic sell in the opposite. Maybe try to open along here between $8,500 down to $8,000. And also, of course, it's a perfect buying opportunity because even though we could drop that low, I think we could bounce very easily from it and retest here this high or maybe even break it in case 
that we are going really now that low and this was the top and also if you have a look on the Bollinger Band in the daily you can see that we are still trading here right at the top so a retracement back down here between 9150 even down to 8270 that is the middle area here in the Bollinger Band would not only be healthy but also it would confirm us that we are having now these uh, levels as a support and also the MACD is still shifted to the upside there are no signs that we're gonna have here a bearish cross pretty soon so also here all in all it looks still very bullish even though we could retrace even back down here to eight thousand dollar area so everything is still good here even here in the bigger time frames and if we have a look here on the weekly time frame also here you can see that we came up here to the 0.618 fib line we touched it and now in theory we could see a bigger retracement but as i told you everything is still very bullish and we have less than four days till the halvening so i think we're gonna see some big price actions also during the weekend just before the halvening so as long the halvening didn't take place i wouldn't take any profits or stop start opening shorts if you think that after the halvening they're gonna be a big dump or sell-off so everything is gonna be depending in this next couple of days before the halvening if we're gonna reach here this top of 10,500 and if we are able to break it or not in case that after the halvening we're not gonna break this level I think there's a high chance that we're gonna see a bigger correction down to the 200 daily moving average or maybe even down here to the 20 weekly moving average at $8,000 and then after this correction maybe we're gonna see the begin of a sustainable long bull rally that will take one or two years this is at least what I believe that we're gonna need one or two years to reach these new all-time high targets and this new all-time high targets as you know if you follow my videos is between 100 to 300 thousand dollar per Bitcoin and my time frame is one to two years after the happening maybe we're gonna see already earlier new all-time highs so higher than 20 thousand dollar per bitcoin but that wouldn't mean that we're gonna top out like at 30,000 or 40,000 we maybe go first to like 50,000 retrace back down to 10k and then start the big run towards 100 or 300,000 but for such big price movements we also need a lot of time and that's why I give myself a time frame of one to two years to reach that so also you my friends you don't have to hurry if you bought in bitcoin after this big sell-off and you're new into the crypto space or you're holding Bitcoin for now many years, don't forget that the best investments are always for the long term and not for the short term. So if you believe in Bitcoin, then you shouldn't have any problems to wait one or two years. So let's see what the next couple of days will bring guys because we have also here in the weekly very bullish uh, signs we have the RSI above the 50 stochastic still shifted to the upside if we go over to the Bollinger Band in the weekly also here you see that we still have some room left to the upside towards $10,800 and also the MACD had a bullish cross so also here we have a lot of you left to the upside so I think we could be in early stages of a big run to the upside and also considering that we have no future gaps below of us this makes me even more bullish so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for today if you like the content you know what to do make also sure to subscribe to the channel because i do daily ta videos and also you can participate to my 10 dollar bitcoin giveaway that i do with every 100 subscribers and also you're very welcome to join our free discord trading chat you find the link down below here in the video description the chat is completely for free everyone is welcome and also i'm doing sometimes the live streams over on twitch so you're very welcome also to join our live stream over on twitch so just follow me also over there probably i'm gonna go live when the bitcoin halvening is coming up if i'm on the computer i'm gonna go live so make sure to be ready also over on twitch and if you still need a bybit femex prime xpt or btr exchange account Go down below and check out my sign up links because with them you can get some rewards and sign up bonus if you open up an account there with my links. It's completely for free. You get some bonuses. You can start to trade with that free money and there is no KYC, nothing. Just register with your email and everything is set up. You get automatically a Bitcoin address, everything. So you can just sign up with the email and everything is done. And my recommendation is to use most the Bybit and Femex exchange. Those two are my favorite ones. I'm usually trading always over on Bybit or Femex. So thank you very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one. Bye.